Thank you. Let's give another round of applause. It is so, so, so good to have a colleague that's interested in public health and not private wealth. That's our doctor, our health commissioner, Dr. Lena Wynn. So as we move to our next speaker, Dr. Wynn alluded to some things that revolve around prisons, things that lead us into those cages. Racism, racial inequities, mental health. You heard her talk about the children that struggle with mental health every day. They might not call it that, but imagine growing up seeing people die around you all day long. Rats. Trust me, I know. I'm the code enforcement guy in the city. <laughs> so I get those calls. And it's so good to have a colleague that will go out on the street and knock on doors and not just sit behind a desk and collect a check. I have to give her another round of applause. So our next talk, watch this. Beyond reform, abolishing prisons. What? No jails? Beyond reform, abolishing prisons. Well, you know, when people run for office, the first thing that they talk about is public safety, am I right? What they're going to do, their plans for public safety. And I have a speaker that's going to come to this red carpet that's saying, you know, we have to go beyond reform. Let's abolish prisons. Wow. I'm trying to get my mind around that. And I told you all up front that this was going to be an exciting se session, didn't I? We're in the nitty gritty now. Maya Shinwa. She's the editor in chief of Truth Out. She's an author. And I wrote this down because I didn't want to mess it up. The author of Locked Down, Locked Out, Why Prisons Don't Work and How We Can Do Better. Without further delay, ladies and gentlemen, I bring to the red carpet Maya Shinwa. <laughs> 